Hey, Passion Fighters, Brad from Australia here. Um, I'm making another video. You might have seen another one that I did about uh, MailChimp and Zapier connecting, uh, connecting to, uh, to Passion. This one's specifically more about how to utilize Stripe. Um, I'm a big fan of what goes around comes around. So this is why I'm making this video. It's going to remind me how to do this in the future, but it might help someone in the community to be able to do this um, because I've been getting on calls, even asking uh, Passion employees about how to do some of this stuff and they weren't aware of how to do it as well. So hope you enjoy it. So what I've done here is, is that we're going to be talking about someone makes an actual purchase using an external URL that you've, it's been provided by Passion. It connects to Zapier, which connects to MailChimp, and you could do it with other ones, other um, newsletter services if you want. But it then basically connects to, to Stripe, and then essentially what's happening is, is that you're getting your customers who are going to be receiving a receipt from Passion and or from, from Stripe as well. You get a notification that a paid purchase has been made, which is important, I feel. And there's different settings you need to put together on Stripe to make this happen. I didn't realize you had to go this far into it, but this is why I've made this video. So what are we going to do here? Uh, first up, if you uh, – so this is my external website. This is my website, primal6.app, okay? And with this particular website here, this is where I've got videos and everything, you know, everything to, to help – sell and get someone to understand uh, what's going on with this particular app um, and especially to make all the purchases so that apple don't take 15 to 30 percent of my um of my uh, my money in the morning so this here is a, a free way of someone to join my app imagine though that it costs okay so this link here i received that link here from the pricing plan so you create a pricing plan at the end of the configuration of it there is a url that you can copy and then when you're making a website or say, for example, you're just putting together a PDF where you've got all of the links for all of your uh, external URLs for someone to make a purchase outside the app, you could do that too. Um, but I've got a website. Someone would click there. It opens up the URL there. Okay. Um, someone then can't purchase it straight away because they need to sign up. So someone puts their email in. Passwords go in there as well. Account is created. It then comes up with, oh, now you're okay to make a purchase. You go through putting in the credit card details and all that sort of stuff, and then boom, they've got a new account and they've bought they bought something off you. But what I want then to happen is I want a welcome email to go to my customer. I'm wanting um, them to receive a receipt for their purchase. I'm wanting a notification that, that a purchase has been made. Um, and I would just want that all to happen seamlessly. Is that too hard to ask? <laughs> so there's a bit of stuff that has to be done to make that happen. There is a longer video. And I'm not going to go into it, but just if you want to watch this, it goes for 18 minutes, but this is just purely talking to people about how to set up uh, Zapier, a passion to Zapier to MailChimp if you choose to use MailChimp as your newsletter service. Okay, that's been clicked on. Where are we up to here now? Sign up has happened. Email has gone in. So now that there is an email, a new email that's part of the system, that email goes into Passion Metrics. It'll show up there. Okay, I won't open that there at the moment because there's other private uh, emails, but that email will go into there. If I was logged into MailChimp, there's a section called All Contacts. It come over, comes over on the left-hand side, um, and then underneath the listing of your choice, you'll then see the email that pops up on there, which is awesome. So um, we've got the emails where we want them. Now, because that email then has gone into MailChimp, MailChimp is then set up using the settings that I talk about in this email of this uh, video um, to then send an email, a welcome email to the subscriber or to the customer. So I'm going to go to my emails here now. And if I was to go to, this was the, the test one that I set it up with here, this is this email. And if I click on there, these are the three emails that, that the new customer receives. They receive a welcome email that looks like this. And I actually, through doing this testing, I'd realized, oh, shit, I need to actually update date this because this information in particular is old. This list leads people to the passion um, app to download rather than my newly submitted uh, app within Apple and Google. But anyways, regardless, they get a welcome to the tribe email here, which is awesome. They then also get an order receipt from Passion, which is great. 
it doesn't look that good, does it? It should have a logo and it should have some personalised stuff. Hopefully in, that, in the future, if enough people vote on it through Canny, it'll be, that'll be possible to do, but at the moment it's not. But to ensure that the customer actually gets this, you want to be able to go to here, you want to go to settings. So it seemed like a setting was a little bit hard to find. But in settings, customer receipts, you want to have that turned on. That's then when they will receive that. The next receipt, though, that I chose for them to also receive, just because, you know, sometimes you get two receipts from companies. I think that's okay. This one looks a little bit better, I think. I've got my logo here. just looks a bit nicer up the top. I might even be able to change that as well. I'm not too sure. But I'd set up Stripe years ago. It's not a popular thing in Australia, um, but I set it up for something else that was being utilised by someone I was working with from the UK. Um, and I had all of this information, which, is, which was incorrect. My bank, bank account was even incorrect as well. So I was able to change this here and personalise that to my actual proper business name and put a, a link to my primal6.app website and to put my current email address. So they get, they get three receipts, which I think is pretty cool. So I'll talk about that more in a sec, how to set that up. I then also, me personally, then received, uh, is it that one? I put it into here. I've then received a notification from Stripe that I've been paid. So this guy signed up. He's paid me $5. So all of this needs to be ticked in the right places to make this happen if this is what you're wanting. So if this is of interest, keep listening. I'm going to delete that now. I don't need that. Okay, so I can go away from that. My email now, I can go away from that and go away from that. Let's go to Stripe. The rest of it is all now in Stripe. So what we've got here is, is that when you log in, this is what it looks like. And these are the two areas that you really need to go to up here. I would highly recommend, though, that you go through all of these things and just look for things that need to be changed. Um, but these are the two key ones that I found that were really important. So if you go to Settings... Down here, especially where it says business settings, account details, public details, business details, bank accounts, tax details, all of that needs to be correct. So I had the wrong names in some of these things here, and that was then showing a different um, variation of, where is it here? Uh, yeah, it was saying my name, Brad Rasmus, instead of Primal Holistic Health. So you just have to play around with which things you need to change there, which then affect the emails that come through. You can do testing emails, I'm pretty sure. This was the important one, branding, logos, colors, things like that. I don't know if I, oh, there you go, send test receipt. So if you click on that, it's going to test and make sure that this stuff looks, looks, uh, looks the part. Um, I'll just go back here. Customer emails. I think that was another important one. Oh, yes. So if you want your customers to receive the extra uh, email about a successful payment that's gone through, a receipt, you need to turn this one on here. Uh, yeah. So that wasn't turned on. So I turned that on. Now they get the separate email. If you're like, you know what, they don't need two receipts, they just need one, and you prefer this one instead of the passion one, then you could go back to passion and actually turn that off. Play around with it, test it. Don't take everything I say as for a grain of salt. I'm not, this is not my job. I'm just sharing stuff here. Um, but I did click on that. Now, once I'd gone through and I did all of that stuff there, um, I went to profile. And this is where when you go down here, you need to have this clicked on. Where is it? Payout notification. Is that the one? No, this one here. This was turned off. Successful payments. Receive a notification for every successful payment. I definitely want an email every time someone buys something. <laughs> I want to know the money's gone through. So I think that's an important one. So that one there. So so essentially, I think this is pretty much all I need to really share. I think I've got it all. There's a lot of stuff I knew I had to share here. Business settings, profile, um, the passion to Zapier video. Is there anything else there? No, I think that's pretty much it. So I hope that's helped there, guys. So uh, if you've got any questions, um, 
I hope now that the passion guys will be able to help you with this more so because I don't want to have to field all the questions myself. But at the same time, I'll do my best to answer within the uh, the Facebook messaging system there when I've got time. But I hope that uh, that helps out enough people to be able to make something like this happen because it was a little bit of a challenge for me. I'm pretty tech savvy. I've built all this and done all this myself, including the logos, videos. I know a lot about how to do all this stuff, but this was, uh, yeah, this was a little bit of a tricky thing to be able to set up. So uh I hope it helps, guys. Have a great day.